In this tutorial, we are going to create a macro following a set of drafting instructions written by Finnish designer Lena Letinmeki. Now, the objective is going to be to create a pattern that is sizable. We're going to use a very simple hood. Lena has described how you should draw one of these things, and we're going to create a macro out of her instructions. Before we get started, let's talk a little bit about what exactly a macro is. A macro is a list of commands to draw a pattern piece. The commands are generally start here, draw to there kind of thing. We're going to draw a line three inches to the right, then draw a line four inches down, and so on. Some of the commands will involve measurements, like waist or back. For example, you could say, draw a line to the right that's half the width of the waist, or something like that. The ultimate objective is to draw a pattern piece and then be able to change the pattern size by changing the measurements. So, what is a measurement? A measurement is a distance in inches or in centimeters if you're using metric units. A measurement usually has a name. We will create some measurements in this tutorial. It may sound difficult, but it's actually pretty easy. Once you have created and named a measurement, it can be used to change the size of the pattern. So, for example, if the waist is 30 inches, you could make it 32 inches, and then this would change the size of the garment. Okay? So, let's start a new project. I'm going to assume that you have successfully installed MacroGen. Now, I just downloaded it here. I haven't even registered it. I'm just using the free version for this demonstration. You can download it from the Pattern Maker CD, or you can download it from the Pattern Maker website. Let's go ahead and start the MacGen program. I'm double clicking. We're going to start a new project. And here we are. We call this window the Style Manager. On the left side, it lists all of the pieces the macro will create. You know, if you had a pair of pants, you might have you know, a left pant leg, you might have a pocket, or you know, different pieces. A base piece is already here. Let's start out by naming our pattern. I'm going to call it Hood. So type hood into the macro title field. Now let's create a piece. We're also going to call this hood. So just keep in mind that the name of the piece and the name of the file are both going to be hood. So I'm going to type the name here. And then down here where it says add piece, I'm going to click. And it comes up in our piece list. The piece that's highlighted on the left will appear on the right side in the style tree. Let's go ahead and draw the piece. So we're making sure that hood is highlighted. And here in the style tree, we're selecting hood. Now click the show button. In this area, we see where the pattern will be drafted. So the only thing we have is the point start, which really is just a label for the origin. That's zero, zero. On the right side, we have a tab panel with the tabs measure, point, and object. Up here we have the title bar. This would show the file name if we had saved the file, but we haven't saved it yet. So let's go ahead and do that. File, save, and it asks me for a name. I'm going to call it hood. Okay. Now it shows us the file name and the piece. Let's take a quick look at the MacGen environment. The main window takes up most of the space, with a tabbed panel to the right. There is a standard file menu at the top with a row of buttons underneath. All of the design functions are available in the tabbed panel and every command is available from the menu. You can zoom in and out by using the commands in the zoom menu or the buttons here. Before we do anything, we need to tell MacGen that we will be working in centimeters. For your own projects, you may be using inches, but since we'll be working along with Lena's instructions and she's from Europe, so we're going to use centimeters throughout this tutorial. But inches is the same thing, just different units. In the settings menu, that's here, we select metric. Okay? In the next section, we will start drawing points.